forward. Well, I think Mrs. Obama, um, and I just want to thank her again for coming here um, today. Because, uh, let's face it, I, I, I've built 30 playgrounds and there was more interest in the playground today when she came uh, than in any of the other playgrounds. Practically nobody showed up at the other playgrounds. I mean, a lot of volunteers did, not a lot of media. But I think, you know, when certainly the President of the United States and the First Lady of the United States say, service is important to me and it's important to my kids and we're going to do it no matter how busy we are, that sends the most powerful message. And I think when you have, you know, a, a president that's hip and young and cool and he's serving, you're like, I want some of that. You know, I think that's, uh, you know, or I think you can never underestimate the power of the messenger. Uh, John Bon Jovi comes out and says, you know, it's important to me to be of service. And when people that um, people admire say it's important to me, or when Arnold Schwarzenegger comes forward and says, you know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it as a volunteer, or I'm going to make this an important part of my, you know, governorship, and I'm going to make it a cabinet level position, that sends a message. Yes. So I think having these websites making service simple, rewarding, meaningful, much of the research we've done has said that people want to connect and volunteer, but they don't often feel they're given rewarding experiences so they don't come back. So how do we make it rewarding for people so that they come back? So many people, uh, baby boomers, have so many talents, and they want to do more than lick an envelope. Um, they want to tutor. They want to build these playgrounds, build houses. They want to be creative. They want to figure out how to use the web. They want to Twitter about it. They want to spread the message. They want to build a community that changes our message and changes our community for the better. And I, I think we have to be really open-minded about how we use the mediums that are available to us today. California Volunteers has 45,000 opportunities on it, but we could have 100,000. Um, we have millions of people in this state serving, but we need millions more. We're not reaching into a lot of the communities, are not hearing our message. We need to do better. And even though we have an extraordinary cabinet secretary in Karen Baker, uh, who has done an incredible job, we have to find ways to reach our diverse communities that we haven't figured out yet. I love the approach you've taken. Well, you, you turn over every rock, you're looking at every possibility, you're, you're bringing people together from every sector to advance this movement mm -hmm. and fight poverty and engage people in service. Uh, unfortunately, we have to wrap this up, so I want to give you a chance. Do you have any parting words of wisdom or a challenge for this audience? And, uh, and also thank you for taking on the leadership of this gathering uh, and inspiring all of us. Well, so parting thank words. You. Um, <laughs> Parting words for this audience. Yeah. And you have been such a leader and an inspiration to me. And I also, as I say, I want to thank Arnold, uh, who also, uh, you know, put up with my badgering uh, about it. And I think thank you for doing that. He uh, has made a huge uh, contribution in this field. But I think it would be really great if everybody from all 50. I think every governor should have a secretary. I think really. Um, and I. I, I really believe, um, I, I think it's amazing that it's only California and New York. I don't understand that at all. And um, I think that uh, we should have a goal of, you know, 10 or 15 this year. I mean, actually, I think the goal should be all 50 by the end of the year, but I recognize it's summer and maybe we don't have that much time, but why not set that as our goal and then ask the president uh, to put it up there at the table. And I think, you know, uh, uh, because it, it, the, the world does see it differently when the secretary um, for service and volunteering is at the governor's table, whoever the governor is. And it's different when they're at the president's table. Um, people just treat you differently. And I think that's a goal that we can have. Every state can have that goal. I think it would make a difference in every state. I think every state should have a volunteer website that they can direct people to, uh, whether it be for an emergency or just for everyday living. Um, and I think we can encourage, you know, many people have said to me, I don't have a talent, and I'll say, do you play the piano? And they're like, well, yeah. I say, well, you can go play a piano in an Alzheimer's home. Can you read a book? They're like, well, yeah, I go, you can go read a book. It's not that complicated. 
It doesn't have to be every single day. Anything right. you can give can change someone's life. It, it really can change someone's life. And uh, I, uh, no, no matter where I go, there isn't a day, there probably isn't an hour in my life where someone doesn't come up and talk to me about my father, my mother, my uncle, and it's all, or Arnold, <laughs> and all, it's about how a program that they started changed somebody's life. I was a Peace Corps volunteer. I'm a graduate of the Job Corps. I was in Head Start. I'm a legal service lawyer. Um, you know, I, I, uh, somebody reached out and touched me. I'm an AmeriCorps volunteer. I'm a VISTA volunteer. I was in Special Olympics. I'm a coach. I'm a volunteer. And it, um, and it changed my life. And so I think that everybody in this room should take a moment, I hope, over the next two days to um, think about the difference that they are making in someone's life. I think um, everybody in the nonprofit service world is so down on the ground trying to just survive that you probably never take the moment to think about how you yourself are actually really transforming people's lives. Um, simply by your work, by the fact that you exist, that you're out there every day working, uh, reaching out, listening, caring, um, and trying. It changes people's lives in the most fun fundamental and profound way. And at the end of the day, it is really the only thing that matters in life. And it's not, um, I think, about all of the success that we all focus on. It's about your effect on another human being. And that's the people in this room. And I think we can never underestimate the power of that. And that your children, uh, I hope that they get a taste of what I've gotten as a child of people who've been dedicated to service. They will come up to your children and say, your mom, your dad, or your uncle, your grandma changed my life. And um, that's time on this earth well spent. Oh, well, Maria. <laughs> Well, Maria, it's clear, your energy, your idealism, we are so blessed, all of us in the service movement, to have you as thank such you. an extraordinary champion and a strategist and an innovator, and thank you for changing my life and the lives of so many people here and across the state of California and across our country. Thank we you. deeply appreciate it. Let's hear thank it from you. Maria Schreiber. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. That was so much fun. That was fun. Thank you.